Well, I guess this thing's recording. Well, we had a meet and greet today. And uh, a lady from Germany moving back to America, retiring here. She's here two days and bought her, got, bought her first house. So we came up here and had dinner with her at Mallory. It's still one of my favorite country clubs to come to. Uh, maybe it's because one of the first ones we used to come here regularly back when I had a house up here. But uh, we're going to go over to her house and I'm going to video her little courtyard villa she bought. What you can look at here is this is a pre-owned, I think it's a two-bedroom uh, courtyard villa. Um, people have asked me about doing some uh, pre-owned homes instead of buying you know, a new home. Um, she's asked me not to use her name or to say where it's at, and I'll respect that. Uh, but uh, I'll just say it says up in the Lake Sumter area. This is the front of the uh, courtyard. Nice little area here. She says she's going to have this grass taken out because uh, it's uh, she did not want to pay somebody to mow that little bit of grass. So she's going to have the rock extended on out, and they've already approved that. And uh, this is uh, the outside of a courtyard villa. So her driveway has been done. This little extra here is extra. Um, and the thing that's neat in the back, I've already been in there, is you guys has got to see this cute little courtyard she's got. Whoever had this house, if they'd done this work, he's done a lot of work, or he spent a lot of money getting this work done. But anyway, extension here, car and a half garage. Uh, the garage floor itself has been epoxied. There's some shelves in there. Front of the house, the entryway, pavers have been put in here. Uh, as you can see, she's got um, um, southern style shutters. I forget what they're called. I've got them. I remember what they're called. Nice door. This is new that they had put in. And when I come in here, the first thing that caught my eye, and I don't know if they'll pick it up, this is hardwood. It's not laminate flooring. Somebody's had hardwood flooring put throughout this whole house, which is super great and bedroom here uh, high ceilings this courtyard here uh, I don't think they can call this well yes they can there is a closet here I didn't know it was here closet right there so it's a very nice little third bedroom uh, this is of course the living room area I don't know what's down. Oh, we've got a hall closet here. Okay, master bedroom here, I think. I know she said, don't show my bedroom, it's all messed up. I said, people don't care about your bedroom being messed up. They want to look at your house. They want to see that, how the floor plans are. Okay, you got a high ceiling up there. Hardwood floor. Mm. Master bath. As you can see, high. Uh, toilets. Hidden in there, uh, all new cabinetry throughout the house, hardwood or a solid surface. I'm going to say it feels like granite, um, so I'm going to say it's granite. Mirrors, all this stuff is all upgrades that this person has done. I think the shower has been retiled and stuff. So, this is yeah, there's another little storage closet in here. We've seen all these closets and things before. So I won't bore you with all that. How do I shut the light off? Okay. Lights mounted in a wall. Um, uh, uh, I don't even know what you call that. I forget. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. All these uh, moldings through the whole house. Look at this fan. There's the fan over there. There's a belt system, comes over to this light, and when you turn this light on, it turns a wheel here that turns that fan over there. Uh, it's different. This here was the Lanai, and this gives you an idea of some of the things you can do with these houses. There was a set of sliding doors right there. They took them out. And he came in here, and he had the 
or I'll say ceiling to floor sliding doors in, like I've showed you guys before. I did it in mine and had um, pavers put out here and he made this an extension of the house, which is nice. Let's go in here. This will be a dining area when she gets totally moved in. She hasn't bought furniture or anything yet. All new cabinetry. I don't know how old it is, but it's not very old. All new appliances, refrigerators, dishwashers, more solid surface, under counter mounted sinks, tile here for the backsplash, gas. She has a gas stove. I'm jealous of that. I wish we had gas stove. Um, yeah. All the cabinets have roll out shelves. Very nice. Courtyard villa. Very nice. Kind of an archway. It's a little different. She also has a gas uh, furnace here also because they have gas. So, yeah, she has a, a real air conditioner, I'll call it. A Freon type air conditioner. And she has, um, doesn't have the air handlers like we have. She has a gas furnace. More, more to what we are used to in the northern areas. Let's go outside here. Here is the area between the two houses. Next door neighbor, you. But this is the agreement that you have in courtyards that you can use this. And this is her the little storage thing. This is the air conditioner here. That's one entrance to get in here. It's right there in case you need maintenance or, or whatever. And we're going to go back here. This here is a uh, waterfall here. It's all kind of overgrown a little bit. She's trimming that out. Um, I can't figure out how to turn it on. I can't find a switch, electric box, or anything, but... Uh, they assured her everything worked. System when the water sprinklers come on all around the house, um, it waters all the plants as the water sprinklers are uh, are working. Um, a lot of work to put that in, but boy, that sure does save you a lot of time and effort. And so here's the uh, courtyard that I was telling you about. Look at this! Isn't this great? This is great. But yeah, here's more of that. You can see it. The guys know what I'm talking about. Most women probably have heard of it. But that's what it looks like. It just needs to be covered up with the rocks. But uh, you, it's this main line goes all around everywhere. You can see it over there too. It goes all around everywhere. And then these little lines here, they just poke into this. Matter of fact, one of them was poked in right there. You can see it. And then you just put them little pieces wherever you want them. And you can use that. Here's another one. It serves the black hose right there. They just plug into it. And it goes to this plant over here. That one plugs into it. And it goes to that plant over there. And so as the water sprinklers come on, that's where its main source is. The water goes through here. And it waters each and every plant. Not only does it save you a lot of time and watering, every plant gets watered. Bougainvillea here needs trimmed. She just doesn't want to do it right now because it's in full bloom. And so, as soon as it uh, quits blooming, she said, I'm going to trim that way back. But this courtyard here, I think, is just really neat. I love it. I really do. I can see me coming out here early in the morning with a cup of coffee, my cell phone, you know, to get caught up on my emails and whatever, and just sitting out here in the mornings. But this is what the back of a courtyard looks like in most of them. Pretty much the high walls, so you don't really see the neighbor. Nagar book and via that's in a pot, but it needs trimmed up too. All this needs trimmed. Uh, she knows it. She's working on it. So, it's just a short video, but uh, now you see what, uh, what a pre-owned... Um, courtyard that you buy can look like uh, when they bought this house brand new um, none of this was here 
these pavers weren't here it's probably grass all this was all grass back here and by buying a pre-owned this is what i've said this these are some of the things you can get that you don't have to worry about this has all been done and she doesn't have to worry about coming up with the design and hiring somebody and going through all that stuff it's here it's done and you can immediately start enjoying it you might have to do some cleaning you might have to do some trimming but the basics of the mechanics are here uh, this here has all been put in and um, it's just a matter of just uh, enjoying it so I hope you enjoyed it see you on the other side <laughs>